Right, let's solve the new inequalities and represent the solution on a number line. So we've got the inequality, 2x minus 3 must always be greater than, or at least, equal to 5. So we work through this rather like an equation, it's rather like making x the subject. So we need to move the minus 3 over the inequality. So if we added 3 to both sides of the inequality, the inequality would stay the same. And so we can write 2x is greater than or equal to plus 3. What we've actually done here is added 3 to both sides of the inequality. So, a bit like saying if one person had £10 and the other had 5 and you gave them both an extra 3, the person who had 10 would still have the most amount of money. So, um, let's quickly add 5 and 3 together and get 8. And now, if we half both sides, the inequality will still remain true. So, we have the solution x is greater than or equal to to 4. Now if you try a value, say like 5, so say try 5 in the original, let's try the 5 up here, then we've got 2 times 5 minus 3 is greater than or equal to 5. 2 5s are 10, 10 take 3 is 7. And of course 7 is greater than or equal to 5. 7 is greater than 5. Now we need to represent the solution on a number line. So we're starting at 4. We'll probably write Something a bit lower than 4 to start with. OK, we don't have to write the numbers forever. Go to 4, draw a circle, and because 4 is included, fill in that circle. And because we can be greater than or equal to 4, make sure your arrow points in that direction. So we have solved the linear inequality and we've represented the solution on a number line. Now, let's um, go on to something else um, similar. We might, be able to, we might be told that x is less than or equal to 4, greater than or equal to, so greater than or minus 1. And we're asked then to write down all the solutions and represent this on a number line. So if we draw the number line um, first, we'll go to a value just below the last one there. So minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Draw circles at each end, so at minus 1 and 4. And because the 4 has the equals to um, element to it, then cover that in, and then join them together. So we can see that the only whole numbers that satisfy this are 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now we'll do one more um, inequality. Let's do um, 3x. Plus 6 is greater than x minus 2. So we've got an x on both sides this time. So what I want to do, just make that look more like a greater than sign, I want to get my x's on this side. So just like equations, we can move the x over, change its sign, and then we move the 6 to the other side, and that will become minus 6. Collect the terms together 2x, 3x minus x is uh, 2x. And minus 2, minus 6, so you've got minus 2, go down minus 6, you've got minus 8. Finally, divide through by 2, x is greater than minus 8 divided by 2, which means x is greater than minus 4. If I want to show this on a number line, 0, 1, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, 1, 2, Go to minus 4. You're not allowed to be equal to it, so keep the circle open and draw the inequality. It doesn't really matter where you stop. As long as you have an arrow saying it just continues, then that will be fine.